What's up everybody? We got a Pokemon opening today. I got six blister packs here from Target. We've been doing pretty good with these blister packs lately. So we're gonna see how good we can do today. And I also got as a bonus, because we like to do nine packs for these openings. It seems to get us around that eight to 10 minute mark. We've got this, I believe, Astral Radiance Pokemon 10. And I think that this comes with three Pokemon Astral Radiance booster packs, but it could be a mix. Sometimes these tins and things have like a variety of packs in them, so we're gonna find out. But without further ado, let's crack these open, see what we get. All right, nice tin for storage. And then we've got, ooh, look at that big coin. That thing is nice. And then we've got, yeah, we got a mix here. So we got Chilling Rain we're gonna be opening. We've got Lost Origin, that's cool. It feels like an older set and another Lost Origin. So these will be fun to open. It'll be really interesting to see if we can get some kind of like full art hit or something from these tens. You never know with these kinds of supplementary non-booster box products. We're gonna start with these six Scarlet and Violet packs. And then at the end of the video, we're gonna do the two Lost Origins and one Chilling Rain booster pack. I don't believe you can find those tens anymore. I got those a while back when they were actually having a lot of Astral Radiance products in stock. Got Astral Radiance ETB. I still have yet to open, so we're gonna be doing that as well. We got Toad School to start off here. I really like the secret illustration rare of that. I did pull that in one of our previous videos. We got Rotom. Still seeing some of these cards for the first time. Chansey, although I have opened a few Scarlet and Violet packs. Really enjoying doing these Pokemon openings. Rare Candy, Lucario. That's a favorite right there. Rock chest plate, items and equipment. Those are cool cards too as well in these, besides the Pokemon, as well as the trainers. Set to Titan. All right, we're getting to our reverse hollows. We got Growlithe, so subtle there. You really gotta get it at the right angle to see that. I'm used to this pattern now that comes with all these reverse hollows. Youngster, wonder if that one comes in a full art. And for our hit, we've got Meowth Karada. So this is the stage two of the one of the new starters, the grass Pokemon, uh, grass cat Pokemon from Scarlet. So very cool. And I did get Pokemon Scarlet and I booted it up, really enjoying it so far. And I did hear that there is or read that there is a new patch for that which helps the technical problems. I know when I saw, I think it was a Nintendo Life review of it, there were some technical, yeah, it was Nintendo Life, there were some technical issues with Scarlet and Violet. So hopefully that they've got that sorted out. I was also reading with this patch 1.3 that they have taken some of the NPCs and made the world a little bit emptier. So once I get farther into the game, I'll have to give you my own impression of that, not having played it before this patch, Wug Trio. I like when they take these classic Pokemon like Doug Trio and give them their a different kind of element to create a new Pokemon. That's cool. There's another one of the starters for Coco. I might have to choose him. I mean, I really like the cat Pokemon, that grass cat Pokemon, but for Coco would be my second choice. All right, check that out. We got a cloth. Secret Rare. I didn't even know you could get this. I haven't studied the gallery that closely. This looks really fantastic. I am so happy to get that. Blister packs for the win. All right, let's go. We got King Gambit here. So I'm typically a vintage collector. I haven't opened up a lot of modern product, but opening them more on the channel and becoming a modern collector, just from what I've been pulling on the channel, has been a lot of fun. And it's just kind of interesting to see for myself what some of these cards are, not to be spoiled too much. And I did look through the gallery a little bit. But overall, I really like not knowing what I can expect in these cards. But uh, back to Pokemon. Yeah, I'm really enjoying Scarlet so far. I like the way it started off. The graphics seem really nice. I haven't gotten that far into it. I just chose the starter and I'm getting ready to go to the school for the first time, the academy. Here's the stage one evolution of that grass type cat Pokemon that my fa is my favorite starter for this generation. But I'm anxious to see how the open world feels once we get to that part and kind of have my own impression of the game. I don't like to look at too many reviews and things. We've got Ultra Ball here. I like to kind of form my own opinions more these days. Great Tusk EX, check that out. We got another Secret Rare, let's go. All right, two in a row. We still got a lot of packs to go too. Man, this looks amazing, check that out. Great Tusk, DD, Full Hollow. We have been doing pretty good so far. I've just been blown away by how good the hits can be in these blister packs. Getting the three pack blisters, the single pack blisters, whatever. We always tend to get some kind of secret rare or like these gold star rares, full arts, what have you. Really great luck with the pools. Maybe this is just an easy set to get some of the pools out of. We got that Miriam in a previous video. Same way, blister packs, just the way to go. Now I'll tell you what I'm really enjoying right now. I got Pokemon Arceus or Arceus. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. 
And I haven't gotten a chance to play that, but I did get, ooh, look at that. Pachirisu it looks like some kind of Pikachu, but it's not a Pikachu, but it looks like it's probably in the same family there. But I've been really enjoying Pokemon Snap. I've been playing that and it's such a relaxing game and that's just really more my pace. Professor's Research, like that card. This is a Pokemon Scarlet Professor. And then the Pokemon Violet, they have, so she has the like ancient primal kind of attire on. And then the, the, the Violet has the more new age kind of like Neo kind of theme to it. I like the old primal ancient kind of theme myself. But yeah, these, this pack, some of these packs are really easy to open. Some of them are kind of difficult, but anyways, yeah, really enjoying Pokemon Snap. It's just so casual. You know, there's not a whole lot of micromanagement you have to do with skills and abilities and all that kind of thing that comes with a lot of games, including Pokemon. And, you know, you can just chill and go through the maps and look for Pokemon and you don't even have to really do anything. You can just let the on rails course take you through and you can just see everything and enjoy it. And it's really really casual and fun. I really like that. I like this electric bird watch roll. Some of these, I don't know if they're new to Scarlet and Violet or if I didn't see them in Sword and Shield or forgot about them. I did play Pokemon Sword. It's fun to kind of see these new Pokemon when I haven't really played the game much. So, you know, experiencing them through the cards before I see them in the game. So it'll be interesting to see these in the game and actually run into them. Reverse Hollow, and then we got our Cyclozar as our regular rare there. Now, I haven't seen if they have some of those Pokemon Snap characters in the Pokemon TCG. I know that in Pokemon Go, you can get some of those cards in their own set. But in Pokemon Snap, we I don't think we've seen like Professor Willow, Rita, Todd, some of these other characters from that game in a TCG. So it'd be interesting to see. I don't know if we would have a set devoted entirely to Pokemon Snap, just like they did with Pokemon Go. I would love to see that. Hey, look at that. Full Art Katie. Let's go. Love any Full Art Trainer. Guys, any hit, but this is a good one to get. Any kind of Full Art Trainer, I think, is a good solid category to hit. People love to collect these, especially like these Waifu Trainers. Great colors on that. Really nice. Guys, if you're seeing these Blister Packs, maybe consider getting those over Booster Boxes because the hits are just crazy. I mean, you can just get 36 packs from Blisters and maybe do like so much better. I don't know. Hey, you haven't seen Porygon in the set at all yet. That's pretty cool. But yeah, what I was saying, uh, it would be great if they could have... Uh, a whole set just for Pokemon Snap because I love Pokemon Snap, the new one. I really like the old one, really takes me back, very nostalgic, and I think it would make for a really awesome expansion or specialty set in Pokemon along with their Pokemon Go. I know a lot of people enjoyed the Pokemon Go set. All right, so I know what happened there. That was our Chilling Rain pack. That's why that looked unfamiliar, why the pack order was a little bit different. So that was Chilling Rain. Now we're going to go to Lost Origins. It'll be interesting to see if we can get a hit in this. We didn't get a hit in our Chilling Rain, but let's see how we can do here with Lost Origins. We got Roselia, Groomy. These are all new to me as well. I did not open any Chilling Rain. I haven't opened any Lost Origin. We got... Coress's experiment for our reverse and we did get a hit a full art Rotom V probably not the most expensive one I know these full art V's aren't like the secret rares or anything but we will take it for sure and then the energy looks a little bit different as well so cool they have some different styles and variations to even just a car design for each of these sets I like the silver borders that they have now of course the yellow ones are classic but you know if I want really classic design I can just pick up a ton of vintage cars they have enough history enough sets with the yellow border so it's kind of nice to see the silver ones now and them changing things up as they're moving forward we got love disc phalanx cool pokemon polywog one of the originals it's interesting how they kind of mix up older pokemon with the newer ones in these sets and in the games i really like gen 2 when they just came out completely with an entirely new 150 they don't do that anymore they have a real mix of and it's kind of going for more pokemon i think than focusing on just new generations, having a, a really big mix of previous generations together. Gastrodon and Arc Phone looks like maybe not a hit for this one at all. Just some kind of regular rare we got in there. Code card. Okay, that does it for today's video. Make sure you all hit the like and subscribe button. If you are enjoying these videos, we're gonna be doing a lot more openings, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! Hoping to start some MPG on the channel as well. Really appreciate y'all watching today. Hope you have a great one. Thank you.